I really want to get the iFly Cine B 75 HD working, but every time when I'm moving the throttle, something else is working. The same for the pitch and the roll. The only thing that's working correctly is the yaw. And that's what we're going to figure out how to fix today. If you keep watching, hopefully you will learn something. And if you're new and you like this, then please subscribe. Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of DYRC. Thank you all for watching where we are going to get the iFly Cine B 75 HD flying in the air. I'm going to show you how to fix your throttle, yaw, pitch and roll inputs correct on beta flight because at the moment when I'm moving my throttle and let's see that it's on beta flight for that we have to connect the drum and go into beta flight and also connect it with the battery so the receiver is active and get the amount amount of power and every time when I'm moving my throttle the pitch is moving instead of the throttle and when I move the pitch the roll is moving and when I do the roll the throttle is moving the only thing that is correct is the yaw but when I noticed this, I also noticed that my AUX switches were not working. And that was my main concern, so that we fixed in the last episode. Because without switches, you can't arm it, you can't switch from one mode to the next mode. So we went ahead and fixed that first. Now we have to fix and the control inputs. And this we're going to be doing not in the flight, but in the radio. We do a long press and get into the radio setup. We can see uh, we scroll down, I scroll up to get to the downside of the page. And we see the RX channel order is A, Aileron, Elevator, Thrust and Rudder. And this is the way it's also set up in Beta Flight. As you can see in the top corner, where we have Aileron, Elevator, Thrust and Reta. One, two, three, four, that's all the channels. And this is the Futaba Fire Sky. High tech standard channel map. So it's all set correct. But still we have given getting the wrong input. So we have set it up perfect. So the next step where we're going to fix this problem is if we go exit. So menu press. We go into the model to the fifth page. The inputs, channel inputs. That's where we also have set the switches and activated them and also did it in the six page in mixer to activate them in beta flight but here you can see something thrust aileron aileron elevator elevator thrust rudder rudder so that makes it pretty obvious that there's something wrong and if i move the thrust i'm moving the pitch and that's aileron that's actually elevator so, but the rudder and rudder is working. So we're gonna turn thrust into thrust and see if that works. Now, if you move the thrust, the throttle is moving. Yeah, the pitch as well. So that's the next step. Here we got aileron. Edit. Edit that into aileron. I don't know how it came to be that it's all screwed up but this is where we fix aileron, roll and the roll is moving so this is also fixed now we're gonna do the same for elevator Now we check the pitch and that's working perfectly. So one step closer to getting the Cine B H5 75 HD in the air. Oh, can't wait, can't wait because we already have set how to arm it. Next thing, we went to the setup, a small bit of pit tuning. We'll be doing an overall video where we're going to all the settings of the setup. So if you're new, then please subscribe for that. If you don't want to miss that and click the notification bell. And I'm also interested to see if the drone really flies. We get at least get it started now. And that with the controls already, the switches are good, and we are looking forward to getting that Cinebi in the air. Oh, I'm turning off the radio. Hmm. I just want to turn off the drone. Welcome to OpenTX. Let's connect the drone. Let's see, connect to the receiver. Now we have armed it, and the motors are spinning. Ooh. 
and if you go forward the back motor spin if you go backwards the front motor spin the left the right motor spin and if you roll to the right then the left motor spin so that's all correct I did remember something The speed of the motors are turning are not the same. So, okay. Let's go backwards. Pitch up. And you can see the left motor is spinning faster than the right motor. Now I'm going to pitch down. This seems to spin evenly. And the Left row. They start up evenly, but they should always start all four at the same throttle or pitch input. And the same the throttle, they only start after already being at 25% before they start up. And there are two motors starting up, not all four at the same time. So that's pretty dangerous. I can't fly like that, or oh, it was straight. Quite from the in the first second, so this is the next problem that we're going to have to solve. And so there are many steps that we have to go through before we can get it flying. And every step will be documented. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. And then please leave it a like. And if you have any questions, then leave it down below in the comments. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we're going to fix the little motor problem and make sure that they all work at the same time. But I can't wait to get it flying because this looks absolutely as amazing little drone. With an amazing good quality camera and a fantastic radio and if you're interested in this product then you find the links down below i want to thank you all for watching it was DIYSC signing out hope to see you next time goodbye